I, I really come from a, uh, like a, a narrative that as a Christian, you, you um, work and, and do your job to an excellent level and, and to be highly competent at your job, primarily for the purpose of um, you know, building a, a platform to tell people about Jesus. Uh, and if you're good at your job, you might earn some really good money that you can give away for some really good courses. And I thought that was desperately inadequate. I've really had, you know, um, like the kingdom mindset or the, the, the kingdom story around the gospel as something that I knew to be true and, and that I, um, I held as a truth. Um, and on the, on the one hand, I've always had you know, passion for what I do at work, uh, and I knew that if the, the kingdom story is to be true, it surely is true for my my workplace. And and so, but I've never been able to truly connect the two the two, the two areas. And uh, I find I've either had a, a context where I've um, caught up with people that um, or Christians that you know were quite senior in their workplace that I respected and came to for advice, but really didn't fully understand the kingdom and so uh, and then on the other hand I also had you know Christians I respected who knew the kingdom story but really didn't have a like a work context that I could really relate to and so when the marketplace program came up I, I, I just saw a perfect opportunity to to firstly like meet people like myself who believed what I believe um, and I could actually learn from and, 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 and build common experiences from. When I saw the structure of the program around um, the, the way that it was you know, set up, the way that the resources that uh, the program had to offer, including mentors and um, the, um, you know, a look at um, literature or you know, theology as well as um, corporate you know, frameworks, um, that it was action orientated. I thought, hopefully, we'll come out of this different to other leadership programs. Like I've gone into other Christian leadership programs before, where you know, I, I come out, you know, passionate and, and zealous, but after a few weeks, it you know it pitters away, and there's, there's no real outcome focus. Um, and and um, yeah, I think that I, I've. Through that process of um, you know, doing the program, I've, I've learned, you know, I've learned that the outcome that I was really looking for was not necessarily the uh, a, a corporate goal or outcome. That it was, it was actually surprisingly a lot more different you know, than I'd anticipated. I think one of the the most significant um, things I've taken away from the, the program or, or been reminded of that is is that it's God at work. You can be really competent at your job and you can be really influential in, in your role, but it, 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 doesn't, you can, it doesn't really matter because God, like, God is already at work. And so the responsibility and the, the, the burden is not on you. And I think the, the, the mindset change is that you have to listen to God. You have to observe what's going on in, in, in your workplace and, and, to, and, and to take on like a kingdom mindset is challenging and to, it's, it's, you have to be intentional about challenging the status quo and so having a group of people around me and, and, and people that I can draw on for support and for questions is, has been invaluable to me and even once the program ends there's, there's a, there's a is a genuine friendships and, and genuine mentorship relationships that I think I can continue to, um, to draw on. You know, our organisation has, has been going through a, a restructuring process, both of senior leaders in our business, as well as uh, bringing in new skills and, and also exiting people from, from our organisation. Listening, you know, to God through that process has been an important part of like, Am I, am I asking those prompting questions in those meetings where I have the influence to change the direction of, of a meeting? Being a person who is, you know, um, who leaders in the business come to me for financial guidance, whereas instead of providing 
options that only result in you know, sh short short term term gain is, is really focusing on the people and the cultural impact that those decisions are going to have. And so the catalyst for a lot of those questions that I'm asking in those meetings and in those key decisions that are being made by the company have been prompted from a lot of the conversations I've had on these one-on-one -on -one sessions in the program through through the mentor conversations as well. Um, and, and those little nudges over the past few months have really, you know, create an environment where I feel confident that the questions that I'm asking are, are prompted by God. And knowing that the meetings that I'm in or the, the, the key decisions that I'm part of matter in the context of the kingdom. And so I, I should be alert and should be awake to what, you know, I can be asked, I can be prompting in those moments that I previously may have stayed silent in. Like my, my relationship w uh, with, um, with work and, and my role as, as a finance director, I can actually be genuine about bringing my, my full self into the workplace because if my broader life story is painted around or is based around the fact that God's bringing in the kingdom, I'm joining in with what he's doing, then, you know, that it means that he's bringing change in my workplace. So it matters to have eternal meaningfulness and significance is really, um, is really um, life changing. Hey, God's been prompting, prompting me for the last week, you know, it's, to, um, be more concerned about our people. So in this meeting now, you've got a real opportunity to say something that changes the course of this decision that has a broad, broader impact on the people of the organisation. But I can be confident, I can be confident in, the, in, in, in speaking up because I know God's been prompting me to make, to make those calls. And so you have to be brave.